person is safe and protected. We have uh, we are constantly filing reports of abuse and neglect because of parents. I, I understand not the cases of, of people of, who it they sounds are. like you're deflecting the question a little bit. Uh, I understand cases of abuse. There's laws to protect the abuse. I mean, schools actually are legally obligated to report cases of abuse, mm -hmm. same for churches and, and the like, anyone who deals with young people. But, uh, you know, do parents have a right? Should they be informed about what's going on? Do they have a right to know what's going on in their kids' lives? So I think, again, those of us who are protecting and supporting young people are there and trusted with the information of the things that they are dealing with. In terms of parents' rights to know at schools, I mean, here in Colorado, parents don't have the right. If a young person is questioning their gender or their sexuality, okay. there are laws in place that say that they have the right to process that with their trusted counselor so, so you do, and so forth. You do a significant amount of your work with kids even starting at age 13. Yeah. Uh, what what would be the age of consent then in your in your mind? Uh, in our community, the age of consent to mental health therapy is 12 years old. So we have laws that enable young people to connect with trusted adults who can support them. That is just so important. It prevents suicide. And so we serve young people at 13 because we know they come to us. What do you think about those new laws that passed in Colorado, by the way? I think they're I don't I think they're playing I think they're playing with fire when they when they start doing that and I understand maybe the intention behind it but like so are you saying it just I feel like I feel like now you're you're kind of approaching that realm of where you can argue abuse for any like you're almost exaggerating the definition of what abuse is so it just kind of to me it kind of it kind of worries me that like at any time where like if some like if a parent says no nah, son you know you're a boy or whatever right I mean is that is that statement alone gonna sit here and be classified as abuse mm -hmm. that's that, that would be that would be the equivalent of us hitting our kid in the nose or something for punishers yeah, I don't necessarily think that's that's the case but who do you go to as a like as a child whose responsibility is it to raise these kids. It's the parents, it's the parents right? yes. Now, there mm -hmm. are there are certain situations, right, where there is laws in place where there are abusive parents, but are we going to change the definition of abuse now? But that's what they're doing, right? See, that's exactly what they're doing. I don't they're, expanding, really... they're expanding the law to yeah. where if you don't go with your kid's gender identity, it's basically the same as punching them in the nose or something. 